Okay, this little video is to show you how to handle a situation where you have, say, a mass big M sitting on a frictionless plane like this, uh, attached with a massless cord around to another mass that's hanging like this, and you want to find out uh, the relationship between these these masses. And let's say, just for the purposes of discussion, that the mass big M is equal to 12 kilograms. What we want to know is what is the mass little m equal to. That's what we're after. And we know that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. Well, first of all, the mass little m is acted upon by gravity and we can draw a little vector like this representing the force due to gravity and I'm going to call that mg. Well this mass big M is also acted on by the force of gravity and I'm going to draw that line like this and that's big M times g. And what we have to do is determine what the component of the gravitational force is along the plane because since the tension in the cord is the same on both ends and the pulley is also frictionless it has no effect so the parallel component of the force that is opposing T uh, is down in this direction in other words the the component of the gravitational force that is parallel to the plane that is this component right here this has to be equal to T otherwise it moves and even though I haven't drawn it exactly here that's the case so what we have to figure out is what this is and the way to do that is to apply Mr. Todd's rule and I've done that for you in a in a different video but this angle right here is also theta so this side is the length of the hypotenuse mg times sine theta this is mg times sine theta and that has to be equal to t which is equal to mg in other words, from looking at this object, T is equal to mg. And from looking at this force balance equation, T is equal to mg sine theta. So therefore, mg is equal to mg sine theta. The g's cancel out. And M is equal to big M times the sine of theta. And let's say that theta, just to make it easy, let's say theta is equal to 30 degrees. That way we don't even need a calculator. So M then is equal to big M, which is 12 kilograms, times the sine of 30 degrees, which is 1 half. So this is equal to 6 kilograms and that's the answer